Ventilation plays a really vital role in improving and ensuring an optimum condition for pigs. This involves drawing fresh air into the building and removing a proportion of microbes, dust, harmful gases and water vapour out of the building. We're here on farm today to catch up with Tim Miller and to talk through some of the various points that we make in a ventilation service. Well, the, the idea of the ventilation system, obviously to maintain a good air quality in the room. As soon as the heat's been put into the room, we're not exhausting it straight out through the fan chimney. So that, that interlocking between the fans and the, and the heating. Where we've got inlets, the idea of the controlled inlet is to maintain a good inlet speed. So ideally we're looking for say four and a half, five metres per second. And depending on the rate of the fans, we'll position accordingly. But basically they're tight, tighter at the start. It's not a linear scale, but we, we keep them tight in the early stages of the ventilation system and then open them up as, as, the, as we get to higher ventilation rates. The dust and dirt around the, around the inlet itself on the frame acts as glue occasionally, so you will see inlets that don't, that don't open. If you're not going to pressure wash them, but at least clean the dirt off from around, around the inlets. It's important between batches to actually shut the inlets, to actually set the point back to zero. So it's a simple case, slackening the clips, closing the inlet and tightening the cords. So between batches, adjusting cords is important. But as a perfect example we've got here, where we've asked the inlets to open about 60 or 80 percent, we've got an inlet that's open and we've got this inlet which is stuck shut. So the dirt and the dust builds up around the frame and sticks to the inlet. Temperature sensors are really, really important. What's so important about getting the location right, making sure they're clean? How do you check that they're sort of recording the right temperatures? Checking is as simple as the way I normally do it, is actually going, holding them in my hand to warm them up. And then in this case, we've got a die cam in the room, making sure the correct sensor responds on the die cam. Occasionally you may see that they'll either stick at a high reading or a, a low reading. It's, it's just making sure they work. It's location, not too close to inlets where we're actually in the, the incoming air for cooling. Something that's relative to the pigs in the room. Simple as that. It is actually a legal requirement that you do test your alarm system weekly. Anywhere where you've got a controlled environment system. The controller will take charge, the inlets will open, the fan chimney, the baffles in the chimney will open, whether it's doors or magnets, they will slide open, but you've got to buy yourself some time because there's no power for the ventilation system. It's absolutely critical and I've seen enough problems over the years, or the, or the results of the problems, so that is something that should be done. The backdraft shutters that are located above the fans in the chimneys, I think seven or eight years they must have been in now and they've never had any sort of a service, so there's that accumulation of dirt and dust on the louvers themselves. And what we're seeing is either when, as the fans are speeding up, they don't have enough power to actually open the louvers. And even at maximum ventilation rate we saw earlier, probably only 75% of the, of the louvers are open. Some are actually stuck shut. It's chimney shaft systems, we've got a backdraft shutter which is located above the fan. And it's important that between batches, we clean the dust and the dirt off the shutter. It accumulates over time. In this particular shaft, I mean, these fans have been going for six years and the shutters have never been cleaned. And what we actually see is that a number of the blades won't open. So even with the fan running at full speed, we're not actually seeing the shutters open. The time it takes, go through the die cam, check the settings, check the fan calibrations, check the interlocking with the heaters, make sure the inlets are positioned not to 100%. It's basically, what, how's the controller working? And is it, are they pieces of equipment in the room doing what they're supposed to do? Um, as you say, you wouldn't, you wouldn't buy a tractor or a combine and not service it yearly, so why wouldn't you service a ventilation system routinely? It's, not, it's, it's just it's kicking the tyres basically, but making sure everything's working. Yeah, it's probably highlighted to me that in between batches we need to look at the nuts and bolts of the actual building. Uh, and when I say that I mean adjusting cords, strings, draft excluders, making sure fan chimneys are clean. It's something that you overlook. Uh, and it's something that when you get somebody like Tim coming around, he's not, he's not uh, doing anything that's out of the ordinary, he's just looking at the very simple things that you need to look at batch by batch and keep on top of. 
AHDB Pork have a wide range of resources and information surrounding ventilation. If you want to know more or have any questions, please get in touch.